Hallelujah. Praise the living God. <laughs> so, I was reading my Bible, and I've been reading about Ananias and Sapphira. And I, I've been reading about how it was a time when people was willing to support the servants of the Lord. Now, before I jump in this video, let me put this out there. I understand that it's a lot of people that's preaching, that's using the gospel now as a means to an end. And what that means is there are people who are preaching the word of God, uploading videos and things just to receive money. And... Uh, Paul talked about that, excuse me, Peter talked about that, that there's gonna, that there's gonna come false prophets that's gonna come in these last days making merchandise of you, which means they're gonna come in the name of the Lord, claiming that they from Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ has sent them, but they're gonna be using the gospel to receive money. You see it today. A lot of people uploading videos and they say make a don donation to this ministry. You got some people that's in the church just now that's preaching the word. They taking up offering two, three times in one service. You got people now that's on television. Call this number on the screen. Now send money. Donate money on the screen. Call this number on the screen and you'll receive a breakthrough. You see it all over the world now. You got preachers now that's preaching prosperity just to receive a financial gain but never hear them preach repentance never hear them expose sin or reprove sin it's happening all over so i understand that it's a lot of people that's using the gospel as a means to an end you got people now that's uh making gofundme accounts and they preaching the word and they say hey go fund me for the support of the ministry but now let's understand we have some who are real servants of the Lord and uh, it's some real servants of the Lord that ask for, for favors within the body of Christ who heart is really in this gospel who heart is really into uh, using the funds given to support the ministry you know it's some that's really certified that's really real who heart is really sold out for the Lord now me I am one of those people who you will not see uploading a video asking to donate to this ministry because I have faith in God and I will ask though a brother or sister in Christ if the Lord lead me at times it's been times where the Lord has led me to ask a brother or to ask a sister for some help you know to do what I need to do for the Lord it's been times that that has happened but I'm starting to see that it's so many false prophets in the world that's using the gospel as a means to an end that people's hearts are waxing cold. People's heart is growing cold to the point where they feel like, oh, if you ask them for some help or something like that, they feel like, oh, you just another one of those false prophets that just want my money. And uh, that's why I want to take you back to the scriptures to show you. The reason the husband and the wife fell dead in the church. And I want to show you that there was a time when people really supported the servants of the Lord. Now, let me make this straight. I'm not making this video to ask you to for money or nothing like that. I want to give you what the Lord has shown me in the scripture. How things has really changed in these last and evil days. Now, me personally, I travel and preach the gospel. And I... It'd be times why I text a brother or a sister and say, hey, man, can you help me with this and that, you know? But most of the time, what I do is, like Paul did, you know, it was times when Paul, when he traveled and preached that he would get a temporary job so he won't lack. And also so he can help other people, so he can help the poor and needy. Same thing I do. When I travel to another state, a different state, I get a temporary job because the Bible says we ought to work with our hands and not just be lazy. So I would get a temporary job and I would work that job as y'all see in many of my videos while I'm working and I turn my work into a, a sermon as God give me the grace to do so. 
but I will work and labor with my hands because there's some people out there that God will lead me to help. You know, it's a lot of poor people that be out there in the streets when we when we preaching and God would want. He told us don't despise the poor, don't despise them, don't overlook them. He even said in Matthew 25 that there will be a time when the Lord put the sheep on his left, uh, the sheep on his right. His right hand, the goat's on the left, and he's going to tell them people, hey, I was hungry, and you didn't help me. You didn't give me meat. I was thirsty. You didn't give me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't take me in. And he's going to tell them to part from me into everlasting fire. But he go look at the sheep and go say, I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. And he's going to tell them, come in, thy good and faithful servant. Come into my father's house. So I just wanted to put that out there. So you can get a better understanding. I'm not after your money. So don't be uh don't get it twisted. But I want to give you what the Lord has showed me in the scripture. In the book of Acts, chapter 4, after they got done praying for Holy Ghost boldness to preach the word of God with no fear, the Bible says that in verse 32. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that all of these things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things coming. And with great power gave the apostles a service of the Lord witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, verse 34, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. There was a time when people was on one had one heart, one mind, on one accord, and they had a uh, great respect for the service of the Lord because they was traveling and preaching the word of God. It was a time when they sold their land, sold their houses, and brought it to the service of the Lord so that the word of God can go forth, so that the ministry can go forth, so that they can have everything that they need because of they was lacking things. But it was a time when people had respect for the service of the Lord and they was willing to do anything in their power to help the service of the Lord. But we don't see that anymore because so many of these counterfeit uh, preachers and these false prophets have over flooded and deceived and desensitized the minds of many people. People don't have a heart for the service of the Lord anymore. People don't have respect for the service of the Lord anymore. Especially those who have left everything for the gospel to travel and preach and step into the calling of the Lord. People don't have respect for the service of the Lord anymore. Now, let's go to uh, chapter 5. Let's talk about the husband and wife that found down dead and fell down dead and the reason why. It says, but a certain man named Ananias and Sapphira, his wife, sold the possession and kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghosts. And great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young man arose, wound them up, and carried them out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after, when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry you out as well. Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. She died right there. And the young man came in and found her dead, and carried her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. So you see, the Bible says that Ananias and Sapphira 
they obviously own some things and they sold the possessions because in their minds, we're about to help these servants of the Lord. We're going to give back to God. When you give to the serv true servants of the Lord, you're giving back to God. So they made it up in their mind. We're going to sell what we got and we're going to help these servants of the Lord. But the Bible says they kept back part of the price. So when they seen how much they really made after they sold it, it must have been a lot of money. They was like, man, we need to keep some of this for ourselves. So they kept back some of the money. Money. And the Bible says that Peter, being full of the Holy Ghost, see, you can't deceive tr true servants of the Lord. When the Lord is with us, with a man or a woman of God, when the Lord is with them, he will reveal them. He will help them discern the truth from the faith, the real from the faith. He give the servants the uh, discernment. So Peter, he was able to discern as he said, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? You kept back some of the price. So why did they do this? It's because they were selfish. Because they had selfishness in their heart. They had greed in their heart. See, they played church. They went to church. They they did that. You know, they, they played church. And uh, they probably dressed churchy. But the problem was they were selfish in their heart. So they kept back some of the money because they were selfish. They didn't want to give it all to the servants of the Lord. And because they did this. Peter said, you ain't lying to men, you lying to God. And the Bible says they lied to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. And when they did that, they died. And Ananias died first, and they didn't even tell his wife what had happened to him. She came in three hours later, and she died. God killed them right there in the church for lying to the Holy Ghost, for lying to his servants, for lying and keeping back part of the price. Now, some people will look at this and say, well, man, that ain't right. How would God do such a thing? But you got to understand these people, they went to the church. They they was churchy, but they was playing church. They 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 heart wasn't right with God. Remember the young rich ruler? He said, Lord, I've been keeping all these commandments since I was young. Jesus said, yeah, but you lacking one thing. Go sell everything you got. Give it to the poor and then come and follow me. But he turned away from Jesus. Why? Because his heart wasn't right with God. And the Lord discerned that. The Lord knew his heart wasn't right. Though he was doing these things. He said, I've been keeping these commandments since I was young. So he probably grew up knowing the word of God. He probably grew up in the synagogue, grew up in church. But it was one thing that he was lacking. He was churchy. It was there were many things good about him but his heart wasn't right he did good things but his heart wasn't right with God and see that's what was going on with Ananias and Sapphira they was churchy but their heart wasn't right with the Lord and because their heart wasn't right with the Lord and they lied right there to the servants to the Holy Ghost to God God killed them he sent swift judgment and uh, the Bible says after this happened, verse 11 of chapter 5 of the book of Acts, great fear came upon all the church and upon as many as heard these things. So these people began to really fear God when God sent that swift judgment. And uh, sometimes I pray that God bring that fear back to the churches, bring that fear back to the Christians, bring the fear of God back to the hearts of those who profess in Jesus Christ because nobody has this type of fear anymore, nobody is fearing God anymore, people are walking around, living, creating this God in their mind that thinks that they can just get by with everything and that God won't send a judgment upon them, but that's not what's really happening, the Bible says God know how to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment, so we can't think that we getting away with things my friend but this was the purpose of them dying because they heart wasn't right they were selfish and uh, you don't see these things anymore where people have respect or people is willing to help one another when the last time you helped your brother or your sister in Christ when they asked you that they needed help it's been so many times where I've given my last to a lot of people because I love the people of God I love people and that's how Jesus want us to be towards one another he said it's more blessed for you to give than to receive but you got people now they want to receive but they ain't willing to give they they want to receive more than they give and that's not how the lord told us how to be he said if you got it with you and you tell your brother uh come back today or tomorrow don't do that he said if you got it with you now help them out if they need your help how many people now is so many people poor people out in the streets and you just walking by them or you just driving by them with no showing no pity upon the 
poor. And you know, the Lord said, when you reject the poor, you're doing the same thing to me. When you're not willing to help others, you're doing the same thing to me. But see, when you start preaching about stuff like this now, oh, he just wants some money. Oh, he just after our money because there's so many counterfeits in the world today that has, that has caused the word of God to be as if uh, that has caused the word of God to have no effect in people's hearts now because the devil has to sensitize so many people's minds because of these false prophets in the world, these TV evangelists now. It has gotten so bad to where people's heart has waxed cold and not willing to help the true servants of the Lord. And that's what's happening today today and it's sad and i was just sitting here reading this this morning uh this evening and the lord showed me this so my friend be careful be careful and, and understand that god still expect this from you he still expect this from me if my brother and my sister come to me needing some help i'm supposed to help them if i'm able to help them not despise them not say oh you just want my money because that shows that you got selfishness in your heart we got to be mindful of this. Be blessed on today.